Hello, everybody. Once again, this is Dr. Lee with Life Destiny. You know, I was looking at a movie the other day, and it kind of gave me some ideas about some things that we need to really be thinking about. You know, I need to say, never attempt to force someone to do what you feel is right, ever. Just understand that that's your, pers- your, that's your perspective. It's not their reality. Please notice, people. People will do what they will do no matter what the fuck is said. Look. Look at the bright side of it. Now you know what they'd rather do than what they should do. You know... Sometimes it takes me back to a story that I heard, you know, the frog and the scorpion. I have heard this fable numerous times, the frog and the scorpion. The only part is people really don't really get an understanding of it for some ungodly reason. You know, most of us are kind of familiar with that fable in which the frog's charity and kindness is kind of repaid with cruelty by the scorpion. And we encounter that shit with life every day. For those that aren't, let me recount it for you. If you don't know what it is, let me tell you. There was a scorpion that asked a frog to carry it across the river. You know, the frog hesitated. The frog was really afraid of being stung, but the scorpion argued with him every fucking day that if it did so, they both would drown. Consider this, people. The frog agrees, but midway across the river, the scorpion does indeed sting the frog, which doomed them both. But when asked by the frog to the scorpion, why? The scorpion replied, it was in my nature to do so. Just my nature. Just my nature, frog. Moral of the story, the frog should have been aware of the scorpion's nature. And so we should always be aware of the true nature of those surrounding us. We really should. Half the time, we don't know what the fucking true nature of people surrounding us but we need to take a conscious effort to find out what that true nature is. How do you allow someone in your life and you don't know what the characteristics of that person is? You don't know what the intentions of that person is. You don't know anything about that person really. All you know is, ooh, my heart is feeling something. Get to know people. It is in their nature. If it's in their nature to fuck over you, how are you going to think something to be different? How are you going to phantom that they would even dream of being different if it's in their nature? One of my key things I say to every client that I deal with, once you get to the point where you can start asking yourself, what the fuck does that have to do with me? Their attitudes, their bullshit, their anger, everything. What does it have to do with me? Yes, we're all in a divine oneness, but what does it have to do with me? Why do I have to make those decisions? Y'all, I really need you to think about this frog and the scorpion because there's a symbology of our lives. We are dealing every day with the frog and the scorpion. We deal with that with our marriages. We deal with that with our relationships. We deal with that with our friendships. We deal with that with every ship that we choose to sail on. Whether it be friendship, relationship, courtship, I don't care. Please, people, please. Wake up. Self-analyze. Accept things as they are. Live life as it is and understand people are going to do what they're going to do no matter what.
you can't control that. So stop trying to control people. Just live life as it is, and you'll achieve life destiny. I love you guys. Forever and always. Peace.